We will chant three long omkars followed by the opening prayers. Oh. Sahana Vavatu, Sahana Punaktu, Sahaviryam Karvavahe, Tejasvina Vadita Mastuma Vishavahe, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. Keep the eyes closed, join the hands at back of the body, go down to the Mother Supreme Earth. Inhale, come back up. Rub the palms against each other. Generate Purja, make them palm. Place the warm hands over the eyes and face. Open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms. Slowly slide the hands down. Gently open the eyes. And let's start with the warm up. Let's stand both. Hands forward, try to keep the elbow straight, palms 90 degree up, 90 degree down. And try to curl all the body parts, joints, muscles in the body before we get into the further stretches. Alternate palms up and down. Make tight fist, spread the fingers apart. Keep the thumbs inside so we can have tight fist. Stretch fingers apart alternatively. Now hold and hold the knuckle joints. Keeping the elbow straight. Palms we can keep 90 degree upward and hold all the knuckle joints and release. You can feel some sensations into the lower arms. Now keeping the thumbs inside. Hold the tight fist and roll them forward. Few times. And roll them backward direction. Try to keep the elbow straight. Now pull at the elbows and swing the arms up and down. Inhale upward, exhale downward. Few times sideways. Now hold all the fingers together, all the shoulders and try to make the biggest circle possible. Inhale, upward, exhale, downward. Try to keep the head, neck, trunk in vertical line, back straight, and keep the full awareness in the, all the activities on the body parts that we are utilizing. Reverse the direction. Continue with the breath coordination. Inhale, upward, exhale, downward. Elbows touch once, every rotation. And relax. Now extend both hands sideways, palms facing down. Now turn the palms towards backward, keeping the elbows straight. Palms will be at the shoulder level. As we inhale, turn the palms down, continue inhalation, bring the palms front and up. Exhale, front, down, and back. Inhale, coming back up. Exhale, backward, 
deep inhale deep exhale coordinate with the speed of our palms rotation and relax raise the hand if anybody able to do 360 degree rotation nobody okay that's good i thought that's only me but looks like we all the same all right now inhale raise both hands up exhale twist the upper body onto the one side look back align chin with the shoulder keep pushing the knee forward inhale come back exhale on to the second side try to keep the trunk vertical so we can feel the full stretches at the waist muscles come back we will do the second round both the sides inhale come back and complete on to the second side come back now interlock the fingers place the palms over the forehead deep inhale hold the breath as we push the head and palms against each other exhale release the hands back of the head with breath coordination we can push the elbows backward so we can just extend the chest forward exhale release the palms from front of the head again back of the head and from side of the head both the sides alternatively twice with breath coordination keeping the legs trunk arms completely still look straight at the level of the eyes deep inhale we are moving just head and neck as we exhale turn the head towards the right side try to align the chin with the right shoulder parsadrashti look at the farthest point at the back inhale come back to center exhale to the second side Feel the full stretches into the neck joint, neck muscles. Inhale, come back. Second time. Try to stay in pose five to seven seconds while we hold the breath out. And come back. Exhale. Complete the second side. Not moving the shoulder blades. inhale come back now next inhalation turn the head upward fully exhale head down chin at the chest inhale up exhale down then we're going to make a circle as we inhale turn it towards the right side in circular fashion going upward exhale towards left and head down chin at the chest two more circles inhale on right and exhale on left steady gentle circles if you have a neck injury in past neck pain neck issues you can avoid it or you can do it very carefully do with very keeping the awareness on to the movements and reverse the direction inhale on left exhale towards right try to make the biggest circle possible at each of the point during the circle we should be looking at the farthest point in back and complete the third round third circle and relax now we will sit in l shape ball pose dandasan bring both palms beside the hips you can lean slightly forward keeping the knees straight legs fully grounded you can pull the toes towards the body hold for 2 seconds 
Then squeeze and release all the toes a few times. As we inhale, push them forward. Exhale, bring them back. Inhale forward. Exhale back. Try to keep the back straight. Legs fully grounded. Knees straight. Alternate few times. And circle the toes around the heels. Try to make the biggest circle possible. And reverse the direction. Now relax both the legs. Keep them a couple of feet apart. Knees straight, legs fully grounded. Now we can roll the toes in and out. You can feel the movements all the way at the hip joints. You can relax the upper body with help of the thumbs. Okay, relax. Now bring legs together, hold at the right knee, bring the right foot onto the left thigh, interlock the right toes with the left fingers and keep pushing the right knee down to the floor. Try to push it down all the way closer to the floor while keeping the trunk as vertical as possible. Creating the spring action. Now as we exhale, bring the knee to the chin, inhale, push it down for two, three seconds. Exhale, bring knee to the chin. Couple more times. Then switch to the other side. So creating the spring action, increasing the blood circulation into the hip joint, making it more flexible, energizing while keeping full awareness at the left hip joint currently, which is in use. So we can even multiply all the benefits. Now bring the knee to the chin. Inhale, push it down. Exhale, bring it to the chin. Couple more times. Okay. Now let's sit. Hold at the both the knees feet on a floor, couple of feet apart, we can just separate them probably at the edge of the mat. We can join both the hands while keeping the head, neck and trunk vertical. Inhale, as we exhale, just lay down both the knees onto the one side. Our trunk remains vertical. And we are not leaning down too much back. Come back, inhale. Exhale onto the second side. Inhale, come back up. We will do second time. This will massage the hip joints, external and internal. Lubricate them, energize them. It's the added benefit and complete onto the second side. back and we'll do Titali Asan. So we'll see that Titali Asan will be performed much better. In the fingers, place them over the toes. Thumbs will go directly under the big toes. Inhale, bring knees all the way up. Exhale, push them down all the way to the floor. Inhale, up. Exhale, down and then we can speed up. We can bring the knees even up a little bit higher, creating the momentum. So the knees will have greater chance to hitting the floor. Okay, stop the flapping and pull the heels inward. As close as to the perineum. So now hold the toes tightly. 
pressing the knees down to the floor, we are doing Bhadrasana or Bhadrasana. Try to hold the back straight, close the eyes, keep the awareness at the pelvis region, hip joints. Now deeply inhale, hold the breath in lower abdomen and observe that the extra stretches into the hip joints. Exhale, deeply inhale again, hold the breath in lower abdomen for about seven seconds. During that time, make sure our knees are pressed down, our back is straight, keep awareness at the hip joints, pelvis area. Exhale, let's do two more times, do with breath coordination, do with your own pace, and each time in pose, just acknowledge the extra stretches. Completed, then we will roll the body side by side and we push the body slightly away from the hip from the hills so will be about one foot distance between hills and the perineum keep the back straight hold the toes tightly align the head and trunk deep inhale as we deep exhale try to pull the upper body away from the hips bend down Try to fold from the lower back. We can push the shin bone backwards with the help of the folded elbow. So we can pull our upper body further forward and down. So we can bring our chin onto the toes. Inhale, come back up. Let's do second time. Do the same way. Deep exhale. Deep exhale. We pull the upper body forward and down. We can inhale, exhale normal. Each exhalation, we're gonna keep on pushing the trunk and head further down and down. We should be able to bring our chin over the toes or even beyond the toes. Inhale, come back up. And we can sit into cross leg posture. Could be standard cross leg, we call it panotti, or we can sit into siddhasan, just one foot slightly onto the other side, or we can sit into swastikasan, swastikasan is, is holding or placing all the toes hiding behind the folded knees. This posture is great if we want to meditate for a long time, because there is a less chance of getting our legs numb or we can sit into half lotus or we can sit into full lotus but in any of the cross leg postures try to keep the back straight relax shoulders join first fingertip and thumb tip together we will do Vastrika Pranayam deep inhale and deep exhale close the eyes Physically observe the breath related movements. As we slowly, steadily inhale, feel that we are filling up all the three lobes of the lungs as our stomach will pop out, shoulder will rise, some movements at the chest. As we deeply, fully exhale, Observe that we are emptying all the three lobes of the lungs completely. Stomach will go inward. Shoulders will settle down a little bit. Some movements at the chest. So keep on observing the physical movements. Those are the involuntary. Those are natural movements because of the breathing. No need to hold the breath. 
no need to use any force just deeply slowly breathe in and deeply slowly breathe out So any form of Vastrika Pranayam, it increases the prana level in our body. If our oxygen meter is showing 95, 96, 97, try doing this deep breath in and out. Then if we measure during that time, if we can just look back and see the reading, it should, be, it should have increased. Pran Vayu is a vital force. Last few breaths, we will just follow the breathing. So we observe that the breath, the air entering through the nostrils, keep on following it, it's going through the nose, going through the sinus cavities, into throat, going into the lungs, and also it goes all the way to the bottom of the lungs. As we breathe out, we will try to fill just going along with the breath. So completely follow the breathing in and out for a few breaths. As much as we can witness or as much as we can feel. We can feel some temperature, some sensation, some sound, movements, anything. 100% awareness on following the breath in and out. and conclude just slowly close open the eyes breathe in and out normal next we will do surya nadi pranayam make a vishnu mudra on right hand block the left nostril with ring finger and breathe in and out on right nostril deeply steadily breathe in deeply steadily breathe out Left hand can be in Dhyan Mudra or Vayu Mudra. And the right elbow will be sideways at the shoulder level. Complete the cycle, maybe breathe out on right and relax the hand. Next, we will do Kapalbhati Pranayam. Make a Vayu Mudra on both the hands. Roll the first fingertip into root of thumb. Deeply, fully inhale. And we will exhale in multiple exhalations. Frequency we can keep as per our comfort level. But once we fully exhale, then we're going to inhale one more time. Fill up the, all the three lobes of the lungs and then we're going to completely empty the lungs in multiple exhalations. Thank you. 
breathe in and out normal when you completely breathe out then bring the body into sambhavya mudra for 10 seconds palms facing ceiling tilt the head slightly upward close the eyes keep awareness in between the eyebrows body will be completely still feel the vibrations let them come down let the energy absorb into the body and 10 seconds already over it's already more than 15 seconds so next we'll do variation of the bastrika pranayam make a fist at the shoulders elbows will stay at the ribs loose fist thumbs will stay outside deep inhale and deep exhale just normal breathe in and out one time then forcefully vigorously breathe in we extend the palms up open it make a fist down inhale up exhale down inhale up exhale down if you have a heart problem blood pressure issue do it slowly or you can avoid it And relax in Sambhavi Mudra 10 seconds. And come back. A little more time. You can do with another variation. Inhale up, down, inhale forward, back, inhale sideways, exhale back. Can increase the speed if you want to. If you're okay with your uh, physical condition, and relax. Sambhavi Mudra, ten seconds. And come back. Bring both hands on the side. We will do Parvatasan. Try to keep the back straight. Head upright. Look straight at the level of the eyes. Then we can close the eyes. As we inhale, bring both palms together in front of the chest with full awareness. Exhale. Inhale, raise them up. Place on top of the head. Exhale. Deeply inhale as we extend both the hands all the way up toward the ceiling, over the head. Elbow straight. We can inhale, exhale in this pose. As soon as we start lowering our hands, we will coordinate with the breath. So we will do one long exhalation as we bring the palms on top of the head, back at the chest, and all the way down. So three inhale, exhale going into the pose, and one long exhalation coming back down. So let's do two more times. Do with your own pace. Do with breath coordination and with full awareness with closed eyes. Let's pretend we are watching ourselves. And come back. 
Now extend both hands on the side, drop the one palm down onto the floor, inhale, other hand up. As we exhale, bend the trunk onto the one side, keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, come back up. Onto the second side, exhale. So this pose gives very good stretches if we are sitting into full Padmasana. Inhale, come back up. The second time, both the sides. While in pose, we can push the palm and fold that elbow into the floor. As we keep looking up into the ceiling, as we keep pushing the other palm closer to the floor. Full stretches. Inhale, come back up. It's the same way onto the second side with breath coordination. Keep looking up as we keep pushing the knees down to the floor. Inhale, come back up. Okay. Now straighten the legs. Relamp. She may hold it for some quite some time. Separate them part apart. We'll do Upavishti Konasan. Inhale. Raise both hands up, look up. We can lean slightly backward to accommodate more air in breath. Fully exhale. Try to bend from the lower back. Grab the feet right to right, left to left. Push the trunk and head further down. Inhale, come back up. Second time, Upavishti Monasan. Deeply, fully exhale. As we grab the feet, we can inhale, exhale normal. Each exhalation, we can keep on pushing the trunk and head further down and down. Inhale, come back up. Okay. Now turn the shoulder blade towards the right side. Inhale, raise both hands up. Look up. As we exhale, bend down. We can try to pull the upper body a little forward. We can grab the right foot equally with both the hands. Try to bring the chin onto the right knee. Back up, going towards left. Fully exhale, bend down, chin onto the left knee. Inhale, come back up. Now, palm at the left knee. We will do Janu Sirsasan. Turn the shoulder blades perpendicular to the right leg. Inhale. Both hands up, look up. Fully exhale, bend down. Try to push the trunk and head as down as possible. With each exhalation, we can push them down further, further down and down. We'll try to bring our chin onto the right knee. 10, 9, 8, Two, one. Inhale, come back up. And we will do Janu Sirsasan onto the left side. First, turn the shoulder blades perpendicular to the left leg. Then inhale, raise both hands up, look up. Fully exhale, bend down, try to bend from the lower back. Grab the left foot equally with both the hands. You can pull the upper body forward and down, chin onto the left knee. Each exhalation, keep on pushing the trunk and head further down and down. 10, 9, 8, 2, 1. Inhale, come back up. 
hand, bring both legs forward, align the feet, relax the legs. We'll do Paschimottanasan. Inhale, raise both hands up. We can lean slightly backward. Deeply inhale. Deeply exhale as we bend forward. Tuck the stomach inward. That means apply Uddhyan Band. Grab the feet. As long as we can hold the breath out, we can hold the stomach inward. Keep pushing the head and tongue further down and down. So forehead closer to the knees. Inhale, come back up. We'll do some time. Tuck the stomach in as we inhale. I mean, exhale. Hold the breath out. Keep pushing the head further down and down. Inhale, come back up. Next, we will do complementary pose with help of both the palms you can do the backward bending reverse plank or puro uttanasan you can do with the folded knee if you are able to do with the straight legs otherwise do with the straight legs next inhalation push the lower back up as high as possible drop the head and back of the body look into the back wall as we push the toes closer to the floor. So heels and toes on the floor, the lower back all the way up, head down, looking at the back wall, elbow straight, knees straight for most people. Purva Uttarasana, reverse plank. Most people doing it very well. Great. During offline, we can do this pose, try to stay for a minute, two minutes. You can put the timer very slowly bring the body down and into the L shape Dandasan pole pose okay next we will fold it both the knees and we will do Gomukhasan so today we will do Gomukhasan and Ardha Machyandrasan combo that's why we skipped Marichyasan and Vakrasan we don't need to because it's already going to cover here so we can adjust the knees and heels we can lift our upper body up and then we can bring it down so whichever side knee is up that side hand will go up with the help of the other hand even push it further down and then we can bring the other hand directly at the back so there is a greater possibility of connecting both the hands at the back if you still have difficulty connecting both the hands you can use the cloth napkin a rope yoga belt strap anything once you make a good connection for um, using any props or without props then correct the pose we can close the eyes we can scan the body just for a few seconds otherwise you can also do deep inhale deep exhale tuck the stomach inward and we can bend down we can bring the forehead onto the knees Inhale, come back up. You can release the hands from the Gomukhasan and we can transition into Ardha Machyandrasan. So, whichever knee is up, that side foot will be moved a little bit forward. So, bring it in a line with the other knee. Whichever knee is up, that side hand will go at the back onto the floor, align it with the spine. Inhale, raise the other hand up. Exhale, bring it around to the other knee. Grab the ankle and twist towards back. Look into the back, align chin with the shoulder. Feel the full twist at the lower abdomen. This is Ardha Chandrasan. Combination of Gomukhasan and Vakrasan. Very slowly come back as we inhale and gently transition to the second side with the full awareness we can gently move the legs hands and get into the pose for foam cousin onto the second side get just the knees heels and we can bring 
the one hand up and down we can even push the elbows towards back then we can bring the other hand at the back and try to connect both the hands once we make a good connection make sure our head neck trunk knees all in one vertical line deep inhale deep exhale tuck the stomach inward and bring the forehead onto the knees inhale come back up release the hands and you can just sit into vadrasan oh uh, we didn't do sorry we didn't do um the artha machandrasana on the second side so move the foot onto the knees and bring the one hand at the back do with breath coordination exhale grab the ankle feel the full twist look back align chin with the shoulder and come back and we inhale so next we will sit into vadrasan for that's a thunderbolt pose or diamond pose i see mayur bhai is already on the screen he connected so um let me see if mayur bhai is uh, ready um are you are you ready mayur bhai yes sir yes sir okay so um i hope everybody has seen my post today that mayur bhai uh, lives in uh, maryland so it's our local dc metro area and really is a karma yogi so many people comes to the place they have a one specific place i'm not going to say so much because i will let him and i i wish he is at the facility so in the video or in a mobile or whatever uh, device that he connected he can just go around going to take a few minutes to talk him about himself and his activity so mayur bhai yeah hello hello thank you for coming to our session and your video is off right now i like to bring you on spotlight but i cannot until your video is on okay great so i am going to bring you um onto spotlight just a second yes great and you can just turn your uh, device sideways so it will be in a full screen okay great can you see me now little, little bit. yes perfect okay. perfect yes we can hear okay uh hello everybody jashi krishna to everybody uh, this is uh, mayur modi uh, i am with the uh, american diversity group and uh, we are here in this community for last 10 years uh, providing free health care services for the people who have no money no insurance no documents and uh, there's kind of a no stop sign uh, in our uh, clinic and this we have been doing it for last uh, several years and now we are doing it in the faith communities where you could have seen me sometimes at mangal mandir or swami narayan mandir or at uh, jain mandir or any other church or temples or gurudwaras but now we have a dedicated clinic uh, every saturday and sunday for the people who have no insurance and no money and we have doctors uh, nurse practitioners uh, also providing them with uh, primary care and uh, we are working with the lab corp and quest diagnostics to see if we can get uh, lab services also done at uh, either free or discounted price of like 10 or 20 dollars or something like that but uh, that's the main focus is the primary care but now we are getting it into other specialty screenings as well that would be rheumatoid arthritis so people who have rheumatoid arthritis conditions we have a consult that's happening every sunday uh, we have a weight loss management program where we have a registered gujarati speaking hindi speaking dietitian who will let you know that how much paneer to eat how much pizza to eat and how much khichdi and dal and uh, dahi to eat so that's the weight loss management program that we are doing it every saturdays 
and uh, this uh, is also along with fourth Saturday of the month we have a pulmonologist who brings his uh, spirometers and people having some breathing issues or conditions with uh, their lung functions that could be seen on every fourth Saturday of the month. Uh, not only that, we are also going to start a diabetes management program that would be people having diabetes conditions that we can try to manage them and you know see how we can bring them down with the weight loss management program, exercise, yoga, that's always happening with Bakulva is already doing it, but we are also doing it at our center. Uh, on Plum Orchard Drive uh, on Suite 214 Silver Spring, uh, which is on Cherry Hill Road on Route 29. That happens every Saturday from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock, the yoga. After that, people with dementia, people with Parkinson, people with Alzheimer's, we do a music therapy program which starts at 11.30 at our center until 12.15. So that improves the speech therapy. People are going through that condition and that helps the people with this kind of condition to improve their speech therapy with music therapy program. And uh, that's over for the senior people about 55, 60 plus. And uh, along with that, we also have a free coffee club and uh, hot meals are provided every Saturday. And uh, now we are celebrating our one year of anniversary this Saturday. And as I mentioned about our programs with diabetes, weight loss management, arthritis, pulmonology, rheumatoid, these are the ongoing programs. We already have it. But in future, in st starting March, we are also going to bring in neurology clinic whereby people having some neurological issues or conditions that could be also seen by our specialties with neurology. Uh, also in April end, we are planning in orthopedic. So we will have an orthopedic consult as well. Uh, in May, we will have a GI consult where people having conditions with GI that would be also been seen and everything is free of cost. There's nothing that we ask for any kind of money, uh, any kind of donation or any kind of uh, insurance that we ask for. So this particular clinic is meant for the people who have no money, no insurance. They are uh, having no documents illegally staying here for some reason, but if they're sick and they're sick, so we take care of them. And we have this clinic location on Plum Orchard Drive, uh, which is across the White Oak Medical Center. And uh, it's from hours of 10 to on every Saturday for the uh, clinic and our senior activities. Uh, Sunday, we have uh, consults only with uh, rheumatoid arthritis and general uh, primary care. So these are the two days activity and many a times we do have uh, dental screenings. That's happened, we work with the two mobile dental van and we just had the dental screenings where we did the treatments without insurance uh, for 22 people. Just as well at our center, more than 500 people that we sold of that 250 were refugees from Afghan and uh, Ukraine. So that's always been happening at our clinic. Uh, and lastly, uh, we are also planning to do an event in Jain Mandir pretty soon. Uh, that's happening on May the 14th, where we'll be doing the free People who have no money, we will be providing them with uh, free reading glasses. Uh, and we are working with some companies to see if we can get prescription glasses as well. So glaucoma screenings, prescription screenings, 2020 vision screening is happening on April 15th. So I would uh, urge each and every one of you to share this information and share this for the people who really need it. And uh, even if we get one uh, seen by this and can save our life, that would be a great uh, thing that we can serve to our community. And uh, thank you all for giving me this opportunity to speak. And I would love to take on any questions you may have. Thank you so much, Mirvai, for your time.
and you're doing all this uh, voluntary work you put not just ours but you have the facilities you have all the people also coming there doctors uh, i have a couple of questions i've already un um, unlocked a meeting so anybody can unmute themselves and they ask if they if anybody have any questions. but question i have is um is this for any age group correct that this is for any age group uh, we uh, don't have a period but if the, the, the population is about 12 or 13 years of age, we would love to see them. I'm looking for a pediatrician and pretty soon we'll be getting a pediatrician as well. Oh, that's good. Okay. Um, many of our attendees are not from area. So I don't know if, if they need to, if they by chance, they're going to be visiting this area, they can plan to come down to it. Absolutely. Like, so so sure. we, we don't the, deal with any kind of we don't deal with any kind of uh, religion. Uh, it's This clinic is meant for people from all the origin and from any county. So even people is coming one day from New Jersey and are sick, we'll see them. So this is not meant for people just of one ethnicity or one county. So even if you are living in Howard County, Baltimore County, Prince George, Patrick, we, we just don't care. Like, you know, the goal is to serve the community. It's not the county, religion, or ethnicity. Great. Okay. Good to know. Anybody have any question uh, to Mayur Bhai regarding this? And, and I'm going to share, like, whatever uh, three, four flyer, I was just, um, just showing into slideshow, I probably put in a group. So you will have the address and all the information, all the details. But if anybody have any question, just go ahead and ask. If it is topic related and maybe i'll later when i get some video or something i can share that too but i really like to just stop by the facility is right probably single spring so even though whenever we're going to north we can pass that so and, and it, let, 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 let me you know i'll be happy to provide the truth uh the only thing is that our facility is open on saturdays and sundays uh monday to friday there's some other activities going on over there with the senior adult daycare center and this daycare center these people have given me this clinic which is almost 12,500 square feet they provided me this whole facility for free at no cost using that for the clinic purpose so that's one of the donation that has come up to the facility uh, even the HVAC the janitorial services Everything that is there is provided to me at no cost. So this is a generous donation from the Aspa Adult Daycare Center uh, people. And uh, also this uh, services is also supported by Seva International as well. Awesome, great. All right. Anybody have any question? Otherwise we'll just continue with our pauses. Great, it was pretty good explanation. And we do have uh, like people, like senior people, maybe, you know, some people might take the advantage, but at least your coffee club, at least senior may just come down and enjoy. Yes, absolutely. They, they can even come and enjoy the holy day where we are having on holy, we are having a small orchestra and uh, they'll be having a good celebration of our festival holy although we won't be playing with the colors but at least people come and enjoy the celebration people who have lost their loved ones they can come and enjoy this with the other family groups as well great thank you so much for absolutely now. my pleasure and honor. thank you thanks thank you so much thank you so much Bye. yeah Bye. all right so um we are back to the pauses and let me make sure that I have a necessary things checked in. Great, so we're done. Okay, so uh, let's do Mandukasan frog pose. Separate the knees like two, three inches apart. Extend both hands forward, make tight fist, keeping the thumbs inside. Deeply inhale, hold the breath into the lower abdomen. Then we can place top of the fist in between the ribcage and navel. Forcefully exhale without leaving the heels. We can push the trunk and head as low as possible. Then holding the trunk there, tilt the head up. Inhale, come back up. 
second time mandukasan propose same sequence don't forget to tilt the head up inhale come back up and back to complementary pose Backward bending with the help of the palms, you can do from the Vajrasan or you can sit in Virasan. Either way, same instructions, slowly going backward, so hold back and back of the head, we lay down onto the floor, keeping the knees closer to each other and close to the floor. You can raise both hands up, bring the palms down, rest them onto top of the thighs. Relax the lower back, relax hip joints, relax thigh muscles, knee joints, calf muscles. With closed eyes, feel the stretches. Specifically, at the lumbar joint, that will be a lot of compressions. Supta Vadrasan or Supayan Vadrasan. Whenever we need to come out of the pose, just grab the ankles, push the body up back into Madrasan or Virasan. Now we are going into forward bending, separate both knees far apart, raise both hands up, trunk vertical, biceps at the ears, deep inhale, as we exhale without leaving the heels, push the trunk and arms down, bring the chest and chin on the floor, Relax the lower back, relax the hip joints. And deep breath in and deep breath out. Next inhalation, tilt the head up and can just walk the hands back one at a time, let the head and trunk rise, come vertical, and go on the knees. Camel pose. We will do half camel pose. Separate the knees and feet, same as the shoulder width. Bring both hands at the waist, fingertips pointing down. Next inhalation. Bend backward, look into the back wall, keep pushing the pelvis forward and keep bringing both the elbows closer to each other. Holding these three forces for few more seconds, dropping the head further down, keep pushing the pelvis forward. It should be crossing the knee line on the floor and keep bringing both the elbows together at the back. Very slowly come out of the pose and bring both the hands onto the floor. Get into double top pose. Wrist joints vertically under the shoulders, knee joints vertically under the hip joints. We'll do cat and cow pose, Madhuryasan. Look up high as possible into the front wall. We can push the lower back up as we deeply inhale. Try to make the spine downward arch. Fully exhale, look at the navel. We can slightly fold at the elbows. Try to make the spine upward arch. Inhale, look up. Spine downward arch. Exhale, look at the navel. Spine will become upward arch. Two to three more times. Do with your own pace. We do with breath coordination. And slowly come back onto both the knees and stand up. Uttestatu. Relax legs, feet, thighs, hands. 
Let's do Tadasan. Go on to the toes as we inhale. Interlock the fingers, palms upside down. Stretch the whole body upward. Exhale, down. Inhale one more time. Stay on the toes. And down. Next, Utkatasan. Inhale as we go on the toes. Hands halfway up. Exhale. Try to sit down, but not completely down while staying on the toes. Chair pose, Utkatasan. We are sitting on an imaginary chair. Inhale, come back up, and then we can bring the heels down. Then we can walk on the heels. Two circles around the mat. We'll activate the lymphatic system throughout the body. Then two circles on the toes. Once done, then we will just separate the feet about three to four feet apart. Interlock the fingers, stretch both hands up, palms upside down. We will do Tiriya Tadasan Swayamte pose. We can turn the right toes out 90 degree. Deep inhale, as we deep exhale, arch towards the right side. Keep looking up towards the ceiling, keeping knees straight, elbows straight. Keep pushing the palms down as close as to the floor. Inhale, come back up. Bring the toes back towards front and roll the left toes out 90 degree. As we exhale, just arch towards left side. Keep looking up into the ceiling. Inhale, come back up. We will do a second time. Feel the full extension onto the left side and compression onto the entire. Inhale, come back. Move the pin position and complete second time onto the second side. Come back. Now separate the feet even further apart. We will do Parsvakonasan. Roll the right toes out, right knee at 90 degree, extend both hands parallel. Inhale, raise the right hand up. As we exhale, bring the right palm on the floor beside the right foot. Keep looking up, left hand, extended front. So the trailing leg, trunk, and the left arm will be in a one line. Keep looking up at least toward the corner of the ceiling. Inhale, back up, and switch the pit position. A Parsakunasan, towards left, inhale, raise the left hand up. Exhale, bring the left palm on the floor beside the left foot. Keep looking up toward the ceiling. Keep pushing the pelvis area down. Inhale, come back up. And bring feet back together. We'll do super brain yoga. Just grab the opposite side earlock with thumb and the fingers. And we will do up to 10. Okay, you can do 0 to 10, any place.
Yes, we will try to keep our trunk as vertical as possible. Whenever we going down, we should try. We, we should not like fall like this in a angle. We should try to keep our trunk as vertical as possible. And when we come back up, our trunk will straight come up and down. So once done, then we can relax into the squatting pose. Our feet should be flat and come back. Next we'll do balance pose. Let's do three pose. Very slowly get into the pose. So you can stay. Bring both palms in the chest. If you have a good balance, you can bring on the top of the head or you can extend all the way up. This is the standard Brukshasan tree pose. But for modification adjustment, people can keep the leg, the foot here or here or whatever in beginning, but only they can start getting into the pose. And once you're done on one side, then transition to the second side. another balance pose grab the big toe on the same side hand with two fingers first two fingers straighten the knee in front first then we can slide the leg onto the side way raise it up you can raise the other hand up if you want to you can just keep at the waist the other hand or you can just keep it out just for the counterweight if you still have good balance, you can look into the other side. Then if you still have the balance, you can bring the leg in front and slowly down. And we can do on to the second side. Very slowly. Should not be rushing into any of the balance poses. I hope the people with uh, mute camera, they will be doing it too. And look onto the second side. And complete. Great. So it's a 710 and we don't have too much time. So let's lay down on a stomach. First few seconds into Makarasan crocodile pose, full relax. Next, we'll do Ardha uh, Salvasan. Bring both legs together, bring the hands under the thighs. Lift the left leg up, leg straight, left toes pointed out, and fold at the right knee, and bring the right foot under the left thigh to hold the left leg as high as possible. Make sure chest, chin, shoulder blades flat on the floor, and relax the lower back. Next exhalation, bring both legs down, both legs on the floor. Next inhalation, transition onto the second side. So right toes out, right knee straight, 
left foot under the right thigh, chest, chin, shoulder blades flat on the floor, relax the lower back, and bring both legs down with next exhalation. Lay down into Shavasana Makarasana for 10 seconds. Next, bring both feet together. We will do Sampurna Bhujangasana. Bring both the palms on top of each other under the chest. Forehead onto the floor, toes on the floor. Elbows are folded onto the side. Next inhalation, raise the upper body up, straighten the elbows, look up into the ceiling. Exhale, bring the upper body back onto the floor. We will do second time. Inhale up. Sampurna Bhujangasana, full cobra pose. Exhale, bring the body down and lay down into crocodile pose, Makarasan for 10 seconds. Then turn around, lay down on the back. We'll do the Naukasan, lift both legs up, trunk up 30 degree with the floor, both hands up so we can look toenails through the fingernails, elbow straight, knee straight, half boat pose or Ardhanasan, very slowly Bring the body down onto the floor and lay down into Shavasan for 10 seconds. Full relax, let all the body parts go. Next, we will do Pavan Muktasan. Fold at both the knees. Lift both the legs up and embrace the, both the lower legs together with both the hands. Try to pull both the knees together toward the chest, deep inhale. As we exhale, lift the head up. As long as we can hold the breath out, we can bring the face and both knees together. And inhale, come back and holding the knees up tightly under both the hands and we can roll the body is side by side, massage the back, so we can go all the way from elbow onto the floor to the other side, so elbow gonna stop us, and now rock, in rocking front and back, the head and feet gonna stop us on both the sides. Massage the spine. Okay, and lay down in Shavasan. Full relax. Feel the sensations coming out from the various parts of the body. We can feel the sensation only when we try to relax them. When we are holding any muscles, holding any joints or body parts, we will not be able to feel the relaxation. Okay, next we will do Uttan Padasan. Lift both legs up, toes pointed toward the ceiling, palms beside the hips, palms facing down to support the body. Legs perpendicular to the floor. Ten more seconds. Five more seconds, and then we will start lowering the legs inch by inch. Okay, start bringing them down 
try to hold the knees straight and toes pointed out very slowly. Once we reach at 45 degree, hold there. Five, four, three, two, one. Engage the core muscles and have a full control on the legs. And again, continue with centimeter centimeter now. Very slowly. Let them get onto the floor. Fully relax in a Savasana. Let all the body parts go on the gravity and feel the relaxation sensations. And next, we will do breathe pose or the Satubandhasan. Fold at both the knees, bring the heels, the hips, grab the ankles, lift the lower back up. If you are unable to do breathe pose because this is inversion, so you can just do Matsyasana face pose and wait for others. So everyone else, they can do breathe pose, Chattopandhasana. And in few seconds, get down and then we will be all do Matsyasana face pose. So we are completing the breathe pose in probably few more seconds. and slowly bring the body down lay down in shavasan a little bit and then transition into matsyasan and stay in matsyasan so the whole trunk will stay up and just the top of the head gonna be on a floor So in about 10 to 15 seconds, we will start the yoga nidra. If you want to cover yourself up, make any final adjustments, final movements. If you want to turn the lights down, dim them or completely shut them down. Right, so let's lay down in Shavasan and let's follow the instructions word by word. Banne pagne bilkul dila chori to. Make sure that they are resting. Banne pag. बिल्कुल ढीला अनुभव करो कि बनने पग में अत्यंत में क्या सेंसेशन थे रियास फ्रॉम टोस टू योर काफ मसल्स फ्रॉम काफ मसल्स टू नी जॉइंट्स थाइस हिप्स एवरीवेयर जस्ट जस्ट ब्रिंग योर अवेयरनेस ओवर देयर एन एक्सपीरियंस what is going on? Bar nikrata direct shwas sati. Tamara banne pag vadhu ne vadhu relax tata jashe. Just relax, relax, relax. Pag ma jay relaxation na sensation theri ya jay no no book. Just experience. Good. Now bring your awareness on your stomach, your back, your chest, and this middle part of your body. Feet, feet, chest, atamam bhag, matamam dhyan lao. And you will experience ke with each breath coming out. You will be feeling more relaxation over there. Shwasni gati sathe, jab pet ni 
चेस्ट में जो मूवमेंट थती हो ये मूवमेंट ने एक्सपीरियंस करो जस्ट एक्सपीरियंस दिस मूवमेंट्स एंड पेट पीट चेस्ट अदर एक जगह है थे रहला रिलैक्सेशन ना सेंसेशन ने अनुभव करो अब धाज पार्ट्स रिलैक्स थे रहया छे जस्ट रिलैक्स 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 अब अपने दोनों हाथों को बिल्कुल ढीला छोड़ दें और उन्हें रिलैक्स होने दें दोनों हाथ बिल्कुल ढीले बिल्कुल एट ईज लेट देम रिलैक्स देम सेल्फ you just have to keep your awareness in your hands shoulders elbow joints wrist your palms fingers fingertips everything is just relaxing just experience it relax 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 आपके दोनों पैर कमर पीठ चेस्ट बैक दोनों हाथ पूरी तरह से रिलैक्स हो चुके हैं अब अपना ध्यान अपने चेहरे पर ले आए गर्दन गाल होट नाक आंखें दोनों कान एवरीवेयर हर जगह पे ये रिलैक्सेशन के सेंसेशंस फैल रहे हैं जस्ट ऑब्जर्व जस्ट एक्सपीरियंस दे सिर का ऊपर हिस्सा सब कुछ रिलैक्स हो रहा है शांत और शिथिल हो रहा है शांत और शिथिल हो रहा है शांत और शिथिल हो रहा है अब अपने पूरे शरीर का एक साथ अनुभव करें दोनों पैरों के तलुओं से लेकर फ्रॉम टोज टू टॉप ऑफ योर हेड सिर से पांव तक पूरा शरीर रिलैक्स्ड हो चुका है रिलैक्स 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 पूरे शरीर में शांति का एहसास शांति निरंतर शांति 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 इस वक्त आपका पूरा शरीर आराम की स्थिति में है ये शरीर की निद्रा है यह शरीर के हर हिस्से की हर पार्ट की निद्रा है मगर मन आपका आधा जागा हुआ है यू आर एंजॉइंग दिस स्लीप ऑफ योर बॉडी कॉन्शियसली और इसीलिए यह योग निद्रा है ये एक ऐसी योग क्रिया है जो हमारे शरीर और मन को भरपूर आराम देती है इस आराम का अनुभव करें हर होनहार इंसान हमेशा ही योग क्रियाओं का अभ्यास करता है आप भी कर रहे हैं इसी योग के कारण हर दिन हर पल आप अधिक से अधिक सकारात्मक होते जा रहे हैं लोगों के साथ आपके रिश्ते और स्वयं के साथ आपके रिश्ते हर दिन अच्छे होते जा रहे हैं आपके शरीर की हर कुशिका ईच एंड एवरी सेल ऑफ योर बॉडी इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली ईच एंड एवरी सेल ऑफ योर बॉडी इज वर्किंग परफेक्टली एंड एफिशियंटली इस वक्त आप 
योग निद्रा का अभ्यास कर रहे हैं हर दिन हर तरह से आप बेहतर बेहतर और बेहतर होते जा रहे हैं हर दिन हर तरह से आप बेहतर बेहतर और बेहतर होते जा रहे हैं एवरी डे इन एवरी वे यू आर गेटिंग बेटर बेटर एंड बेटर अब कुछ ही समय में मैं एक से दस की गिनती करूंगा कुछ ही समय में मैं एक से दस के गिनती करूंगा जैसे जैसे दस तक जाऊंगा आप पूर्ण जागृत अवस्था की ओर आते जाएंगे भरपूर आराम के बाद एक दो धीरे धीरे बाहर आते जाए तीन चार पांच जब मैं दस कहूंगा पूरी तरह से जागृत होंगे पहले के मुकाबले अधिक फ्रेश होंगे तरोताजा होंगे छ सात आठ नौ और दस रब and relax now wiggle the toes move them side by side turn the head on to both the sides left to right right to left and fold at both the knees roll the body on to the right side stay on right for about 8 to 10 seconds very slowly gently bring the body up back into any ball sitting posture Okay, and let's do a minute of Anuno Vilom Pranayam. You know we are getting probably a minute or two late, but not too late. Vishnu Mudra on right hand, deep inhale on left, deep exhale on right. Then deep inhale on right, and deep exhale on left. So left to right, right to left. Starting from left and ending with left, making the round trips deeply, slowly, steadily. Inhale and exhale. complete the cycle when you breathe out on left then relax with the hands you can bring both the palms on top of each other into the lap back to relax shoulders close the eyes we will chant mahamrutyanjay mantra three times everybody together followed by a short meditation one omkar chant and closing prayer om त्रयंबकम यजामहे सुगंधिम पुष्टिवर्धनम पूर्वारुकमेव बंधनान मृत्योर मुक्षियमामृतात ओम त्रयंबकम यजामहे सुगंधिम पुष्टिवर्धनम 
ಗುರುಹಾನುಕ್ರಮ ಬಂಧನಾಕ್ಷಿ ಯಜಾಮಹೆ ಸುಗಂಧಿ ಪುಷ್ಟಿವರ್ಧನ ಗುರುಹಾರುಕ್ರಮ ಬಂಧನಾಕ್ಷಿ ಮಾತ ಸುಖಿಣ open and close eyes few times in dark under the palms slowly slide the hands down over the face gently open the eyes rub the palms one more time place them on top of the head back of the head shoulders neck arms trunk legs throughout the body to spread the energy within हरि ओम तत्सत श्री गुरुभ्यो नम हैप्पी वेन्सडे गुड इवनिंग एवरीबॉडी एंड आई एम गोइंग टू लेट यू गाइस अनम्यूट बट आउटी काले रवि नो स्पेशल वेबिनार छे 8 पीएम के जनी अंदर यू नो दैट्स दैट्स अ फ्री वेबिनार टू लाइक इनवाइटेड एवरीबॉडी एंड सेमी रिटायर्ड कंप्लीटली रिटायर्ड fully working people any kind of uh, people can take uh, advantage of that and i think prior and information is already you may have received it otherwise i will just put reminder again so that will be tomorrow a be vakat che kale 8 vage ane pachi pacho 11 vage etle pacho pacific 8 o'clock and eastern 8 o'clock and pacific 8 8 pm so it will be two times three hours apart All right I'm going to let you guys unmute <coughs> All unmute Thank Are you Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you Thank you Jessica Bye Jessica Krishna Thank you everybody Hey Jai 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 Thank you Jessica <coughs> Okay